Lose patches. They're finally going nuclear, dude. No, there's no SPL, I guess. They cooked Bobble, really? 2,900 gold? What? And so they went crazy with it. They're, I'm about to let them talk through it because they, they know what they really do. Nurse now, Nightmare is a Nami. I, I see something in that. The I mean, I I know these did they show any skins? I want to see the skins. But a newer player would just say, man, this just... <laughs> but uh, the defaults were, you know, he's just kind of like, hey, I'm there. I'm this guy. But you can definitely tell that he's spent his time. But just a, uh, I, a Tina fan. <laughs> That's so... The glow coming through his... his you know, we had the fourth year lie. Everybody... Kind of looks like normal posts <laughs> down here, bro. Beacon walking around. Isn't it? Beacon skin. Getting trash gives me like vibes of like the what is that, bro? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, I'm gonna be winner back. What the fuck? Next one. <laughs> oh my, the posture that Isa has just works so bro. Hard. These guys are, <laughs> dude. The skin, the skin team, they know what they're doing, bro, don't they? Yeah, I got the notes. Thanks, Aqua. I'm wondering what's happening. <laughs> me next. <laughs> Bro, they they know exactly what they're doing with the with these skins, bro. Look at that shit. Dude, the the posture that Isa has just works so well for this kind of theme as well. Yeah. It's just already unsettling. It it very much is. I don't know. There's something I don't know if I feel comfortable about the nerve Wait. about to operate on me being No, nah, this is demonic, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. She's just excited to get into the surgical problem. Yeah, she she can fix it. Bro, is that, is that her whole ass side leg with a thong, bro? What? Bro, they are cooking on that on that skin team, aren't they, bro? Oh, they're they're nerfing shutdowns. That's nerfing shutdowns, right? Or like killing people that are ahead of you? Yeah, that's big. That's huge, actually. Shutdowns are so broken in Smite, bro. It's ridiculous. On the battlegrounds, uh, especially more neutral areas. Two minutes, there he is. Fucking Giga Chad pops out of the lava wall. this kind of objective to do is one way to do that for sure. So we brainstormed a couple of things that we could do when it came to the objectives, but we just thought the Bold Demon King has this kind of foundation. Bro, Solo, Solo's gonna have this Harpy, this Totem, a Meteor, CDR buff, a fucking Bold Demon King, two Bastions, a blue buff, a blue buff invade, and back camps. It's gonna be fucking absolute and brain aneurysm overload, bro. And I love it. I'm down for it. Solid boss monster, you might yeah. Say. Yeah. Um, Dopamine yeah, overload. This area really well. He does, yeah. that was when the jungle okay, what's to do? That, you know, you're killing a neutral jungle objective. You're gonna be getting global gold and XP for your whole team if you Keeps do kill the jungle. Keeps me checked, yeah. Uh, in general, oh my goodness, solo word troll. Jungle, it will just take you Thank you, my king. By yourself. Ideally, you want to pull either your mid laner with you, your solo laner with you, and you'll be able to do it a little bit faster. Thank you for the raid, you know, the torch. Not in the lane in the early game, it's gonna be it's been returned. Obvious, right? yeah. So in theory, it reveals right. all enemy wards. Reveals all enemy wards. So you're gonna be able to see the enemy. Wait, it's a two minute respawn. About getting more action in the early game. And getting some some more snowball happening just oh fuck more. yeah dude really that's your opportunity you can see the enemy wards you oh fuck up. yeah bro you get the extra gold from the rewards as well as the, the global gold that you're getting and the xp from killing the bull demon itself you get extra that's gold. wicked bro that's gonna get nerfed 100 percent but like that's wicked so you can see the pass that you have open to you now yeah exactly so it's kind of twofold right because everybody Demonics. on your team gets this buff so even if you as the jungler don't want to go over to do it dude if you're behind don't buy wards buddy it's over for you if you're losing that if you're losing that it's over for you buddy so, you're what so two awards exciting, you're gonna get absolutely jungler, gulped soul laners, and even mid laners that might want to venture over uh to the bull demon king's lair <laughs> Uh, he will certainly be Okay, ready that is a really, okay, I mean, I love the mechanic, but, like, that's a really oppressive mechanic, because when you're behind, you need vision. You need vision, you need to get vision in your jungle, so that you don't get caught in your jungle, uh, by them, that they're ahead of you. When you're ahead, you're always gonna look to go into their jungle, and you're gonna look to pick them. So usually when you're behind, you get vision, so you don't get picked. And, uh, this... This is kind of demonic, bro. If you're behind, you're just gonna get fucking clapped on. You have no vision for these people that are ahead of you. To, to take you on, but uh, one important thing. Pipe down, saw pipe down. Lasts until Dear 15 Lord. minutes. The fire giant now spawns at 15 minutes, 
And uh, yes, yeah, so the Bull Demon King can respawn several times throughout the match. So yeah, you want to be careful with when you're playing. Joy emoji. And also, we've seen sometimes in our your normal ward. Oh, drop a little, drop a little bait pile ward in the in the jungle and the thing with give him to come over and grab it. Um, and yeah, every two minutes you can do it in the last sixty seconds. Well, now they nerf. Now they nerf prop buff. No way. Now they nerf prop buff. Talk about cool sure. Guys. Oh, they nerfed. They nerfed both of them. What? Every five seconds, subtract 0.5. Oh, that's juicy. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh. And 11, one where. So the Naga's the the juicer and the buffs are uh, you want to get the buffs to get the the actual good buff like the shield or this op cdr effect and then the nagas are like the main farm kind of felt like this stat that was all over the place it was very easy to come by makes sense no it does not you are just shifting the balance because otherwise the the nagas weren't really valuable compared to the getting the buff the buff was worth a lot more and you got a buff from it a little bit about this it's a good change uh kill rewards at the very beginning of the balance Invade penalty. Oh. Portion of the show, but this is kind of again in that same. They're way. adding back snowballing. We want to have players getting a lot more active. I know that players look back fondly upon invade meta with a little bit of rose tinted glasses, maybe. But we certainly it's it's not quite that. Not not even close. But um, we do understand that we want that to be a viable strategy that feels good for players, and so. Of course, the invade penalty is still going to start high. It's still at 10 minutes. The invade penalty is removed by 10 minutes now. 70% compared to 75%. Yeah, and that's at zero minutes. Like that's, yes, that's at, at zero. the very yeah, old that when buffs spawn. Minions right? are spawning, buffs are spawning. Yeah. It's, yeah. Wow. Nobody's invading at that point. Yeah, dude, what, what's this setup, by the way? What's J Mac just sitting there in the back for? <laughs> what's this setup? The DJ, bro. He's yeah, why is he back there? He's, he's just sitting there, dude. Look at him. He's just posted up in the back. What's yeah, bro doing back there? Chilling, bro. And then it scales. Wait, so what? When did the invade buff or the invade penalty stop it before? Uh, it was like know, thirty was minutes like or something, right? Or some no, it wasn't fifteen. Yeah, it was like. I think it was longer. Literally until they're bringing they're bringing back snowballing and they're adjusting every god in the game after SPL is over. Yeah, yeah for real. What dude, the fuck, dude? Number, Why are they popping off now? For real. And and they get a soul laner on the on the balance team. On god, dude. After SPL. Yeah, on what god. the fuck, bro? He's literally, he's changed like six solo gods already. This his first patch on. So fucked up. Change Herc, Arthur, what else? Herc, Arthur, Kabraken, Achilles. Achilles had the Susano change. Kabraken, his two doesn't doesn't go away now. For a long time, but no, you just you just don't lose it when you're in combat. But I haven't seen the full notes yet. So in general, it's all balanced. Don't care. Yes. Yes. Banning a new thirty-eight. Dual bands. Don't care. Dude, I want to know the player numbers. Dude, this is crazy. Dude, you have to like print OnlyFans to buy that shit, bro. What the fuck is that, bro? I'm down though, bro. Honestly, like I'm glad they're nerfing. You're down for an OnlyFans? Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. Right. But now, like, I mean, I'm glad they didn't, like, kill the item. I mean, maybe they did. Well, I mean, to, to be honest, changing the gold is probably better than changing, like, the stats making on, like, yeah. unbuildable, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Now, if you're just, like, rich as fuck and you want to buy for yeah. fun, now you can do it. But, yeah, like, like, now it's, it's, like, it's like a skill issue. You have money for yours. True. Yeah, I mean, I think this is better than nerfing the stats on it or, like, changing the passive. Again, like, bro was saying. We want to make sure that it yeah, is that later. Isn't Any of the Arthur change? Yeah, I don't know what you can really cook. Oh, and Conduit's dead. Yes! Yes! That shit was running from Guardians, bro. It's only. Conduit is fucking broken, dude. Wait, but it's still. it's That's only the minion damage. Yeah? Nah, that's fine, I guess. No, that was, that was the part that was broken. Yeah. Oh! Stormseeker. When you hit an enemy god with a basic attack, gain a permanent attack steed buff. What? My word. Ooh, dopamine item. Hour. Okay, so the item's probably gonna be garbage, but like, it looks fun. Why do you get 15 power? <laughs> How much does this thing cost, bro?
a max of 999 stacks. Holy fuck. And how much time you basic attack a guy? Point 15. A permanent stack of attack speed, but it is too. Oh my god, I'm gonna be stacking that shit up, bro. Holy. You can really start to get into the action. It's only 1900 gold. Yeah, that's. You can first back a lot of the time. Yeah. And then you can come back. It's 1900. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, I hope they I hope they make cheap items again. Like yeah, you remember tier two items? Yeah. Cheap item like cheap items that you can tech into early mid game are so fun. I miss that. Like fucking old stone of binding and shit. And they, you know, we we were sitting between like two. Okay, old glad shield might be a bad example, but Holy dude, he, you that's literally your only attack speed item you need. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, wait, so but that's that's gotta that's gotta work with Silver Branch, right? Yeah, that's gotta work. I mean that's that's gotta be the meta build, right? Going 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 Storm Seeker Silver Branch. Yeah, that's that's gonna be diabolical. So we should probably talk about is that Equinox is a katana, and you might. Oh, yo! No! What? Wait, 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 wait! Is that the same thing? Passive. Uh, and right. From the front, you heal. Doubled against gods when you hit me, God, from the back. You deal an additional. Oh. <laughs> you do damage when you hit him from the back. So you deal damage from the back, but you heal from the front? Back shots of hell? Ooh. I mean, this item looks fun, but like... But why they gotta remove gold blade for it? Yeah. They have this weird philosophy that like, they, like, they removed all like, the fun items. Like, why are they- yeah, why are they removing more items, bro? There's already- there's already like two items in the game. Golden shard? Bro, if you think golden shard... I mean, actually it kind of is. The only the only gods you go gold blade on are Horus and Merc, and they didn't build it anymore because Golden Shard. Baka, Baka, Baka just goes Yotens. Arachne, yeah, Arachne doesn't go gold blade. Yeah. I mean, either way, I don't think they should remove it. There's there's barely any items in the game, bro. This item looks really fun though. But you heal per level. You don't heal like off of scaling of anything else. It's your level. In two health. Okay, so you're like level. You're healing like twelve in auto. I, mean, I guess that's that's okay. Right. Yeah, I think it was actually. Uh, to fight I mean, we'll see. It's just gonna be a feel thing, I guess. Recently, we added movement yeah. speed to the actual base of the item. And took a little Ooh. Bit off uh, it's just still Aaron, it's kind of getting juicy. Yeah, it's it's doubled against the gods. Yeah, true. You know, none of these it's good. Enough to cool. I should talk about oh, seven minutes. Yeah. So, I like the oh, nine nine news update on to thank you for your hard work. Nine nine. We'll, we'll shout you. Oh, it caps out at 40 on Silver Ranch. I forgot. Like a legitimate game. So, yeah, it's kind of mid then. Whoa, 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 whoa. 2.5 seconds. Three seconds? Bro, Fro if someone builds Frostbound, I'm not going to have any fun. And here's the thing. Uh, they have not been very good as of late, but the way that this is different now, seconds for Gemma with them. At the last, you know, Friday. Uh, of an oh, whoa! They remembered Fighter's Mask is in the game. Two, for level to point one. Item that. Fighter's Mask. Oh. Damage nerf. Because once you got it upgraded, it felt great. In the early game, Fighter's Mask felt great. It was just that midpoint where it was really rough, where you're just taking so much damage. Still 120 power. Like going back to, to me wanting to get people to fight more in the game, you were almost discouraged from fighting. You just wanted to farm and get level 20 and get the gold to upgrade your starter because you were taking so much damage. But this allows you to actually get in there, use the damage boost with a little bit less risk. Yeah. Awesome. Well, again, all about fight. That, that's just the best Give me my camera. for me is the skirmishes, the brawls. So every time you say encouraging fighting, I'm over here like, yes. Uh, so now we're moving into kind of a whole Can I move my camera? There we go. Uh, of relic. We have divine barrier and all of its all of its trees get it or the items in the tree getting touched a little bit. Yeah, so this is divine barrier. Greater divine barrier item being a bit of a combat trick. Also you throw it out. It's it's definitely okay to to have re up to give really use an air charge. Barrier is a bad design. No one no one It's not fun. It's not interesting. I hate to say it. 
King it's a failed it's a failed relic so what, you know a lot of vision changes it feels like yeah it's a bad it's just it's not fun and it's not good it's it's been very close it's bad and not fun double whammy no one no one's buying vision shard guys no one's gonna buy it if you buy vision shard i'm reporting you it is strictly worse than every other shard don't buy it dude <laughs> At this far, the forward, or I, can't block off this I mean, maybe it's like okay on support, but like you can just also buy a ward and then have horn shard, and horn shard's gonna be a lot better for you in a fight. So it's just like, oh, summit buff, summit buff. They're buffing his feather. It saves you 50 gold to make your fights much worse, yep. I dapper. Some guys, yeah. Money. Love the old. There is TA. Fine. Quite right. And the monocle. Bardas have two defined design suits to say, listen. A monocle on a blast. Ambrose tripped out. Shout out. Congratulations. It makes sense. What a taunt. Oh, no. Play around with this coin. But sped up quite a bit. Yeah. Paleo nerf. Beautiful. We're actually giving her a little bit more. Stronger. And that's. The down by this. All right, so these were the balance changes there. Quick turn. This is when he's on his horse. Uh, just a little bit faster turn around if you want to be a little. All right, let's look at this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that is a crazy price increase, dude. Crazy price increase. Link. Share. Sure. Okay, well I guess I mean this is like like I said earlier, this is this is better now that they're nerfing Bobble to be just price wise a luxury item rather than like nerfing the stats to making it unbuildable. I think that's a lot better way of balancing it. So that it's still buildable, it's just gonna be pricey than like just ruining the item and you just can't build it at all, even if you have the gold for it. So that's cool. I mean, Bobble was very cheap for sure. Twenty four fifty is very cheap, but obviously this 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 is like an unparalleled like price nerf on like probably the biggest price nerf on any item ever in the game. Um, but this is a lot better way of balancing than I I think than than ruining the item and you can't build it at all. So now it's just like if you have the money, you can have fun with it with the item. You know, I think that's a lot cooler than than destroying the item. And then conduit. This is literally the. This is like probably the best item in the game right now. Fucking conduit is so disgusting, dude. Guardians are disgusting. Um, I mean, gem of focus. The upgrade is still gonna be broken. Conduit's still gonna be good, but um, their clear is literally getting halved here. So the Baka solo, that's dead, bro. Because <laughs> uh, this is literally nerfing your like guardians clear in half. So guardians that have a hard time clearing. And can only be played right now because of conduit being so broken uh will not be good anymore um like fafnir bacchus things like that they're gonna they're gonna go back to having bad clear pele nerf no one really cares god is strong though uh dude i would love if they made more items that are like that are cheap like this that'd be really fun like 1900 gold like a little like cheap kind of gimmicky item that's fun bro that is fun. I actually, dude, I don't know why they, I mean, I get why they removed Golden Blade, but like, I just, I'm not a fan of removing more items from the game, bro. There's like no items in the game already. I just, I don't know. It's kind of lame, kind of lame, personally. I'm not the biggest of a fan. Yeah, no, this item is literally going to be like, it's going to cap your attack speed in one item. It was designed for players who are willing to start fighting early and confident in their aim. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure how the the, the item's probably not going to be very good to be honest, but it's probably going to be fun, and uh, that is that's fun. I like fun items. I like I like something fun and interesting and cool and not lame and boring. But this is probably going to be. This might be pretty good with Ikeval. Can't find those notes. Yeah, I just posted in the chat. I couldn't find him either. Someone liked it. Yeah, I mean, this is probably you're just probably just comboing this to Silver Branch every time you buy it.
uh, Equinox. So it's got deadly back shots and it's got lovely front shots. Yeah, let's see. It's an attack speed item. So yeah, this is gonna be ooh, this is gonna be juicy on Erlang, bro. I'm assuming yeah. So you can you can hit this. You can hit objectives from the back. Max Stormseeker challenge. I don't think it's gonna be very difficult to to max out Stormseeker from what I saw. That's probably it's probably gonna be pretty easy. Um, ooh, I could go that on Erlang. Okay. So you heal from the front and you deal extra damage from the back. Um, that's actually a lot of extra damage from the back, bro. A thousand autos. It's not a thousand autos. No way. It's not a thousand autos. This is a, that's a very, like, this is a very strong item, to be honest, just looking at it. You're gonna be healing a lot if this is this is this is basically death toll on on uh, minions and on gods. It's you're healing a really good amount. Obviously, anti heal is good. Nine hundred ninety nine. What are you talking about? It's not nine hundred ninety nine autos. You're gaining point fifteen. For a max of 999 stacks. It's one stack per auto? It didn't look like that from what I was watching. I think you guys are clueless. Wait, dude, slash coins, that's so awesome. Be nice. Yeah, in that trade them. Yeah, so from least I mean, again, I level a fire, by the way. Placing it down. Like, yeah. You know, finished. It took about oh. everything. Time feel there are places. Right. Look at this. Loved it. One when you get kind of crazy and into a little bit, maybe yeah. it's up in the. Floor. Never mind. You're right. Long. They can get up in there, but yeah, I will be sincerely impressed if anyone does hit the. No, right, chat's right. You're right. Um, but yeah, this equinox item is gonna be broken, dude. Hundred percent. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be dopamine. Absolute dopamine. Maxing. Interesting and fun item, dude. Two interesting and fun items. W. W. Only only L here is removing an item from the game because there's already like no items from the game. There's there's just no items in the game, bro. Just like just leave some items, man. I don't know. Play the PTS, yeah. Bobble 2.9k gold in this economy. What's up, Eva? Um, Erendite, pretty big change. Erendite's getting juicier and juicier. It's still... It's, I mean, it's already a pretty solid item, so this is gonna be a pretty big change. Especially the gold. The gold change is a very big deal. 2600 is pretty pricey. That's gonna be big. Gem of Iso and Frostbound meta, they're fucking gonna be broken, dude. They're broken. This is actually gonna be so annoying. These items are gonna be so annoying. This is like 100% uptime on them. 100% uptime on them. I don't remember how long Frostbound debuff is, but I'm pretty sure it's basically close to three seconds. Um, so <laughs> these are going to be very annoying items to deal with. They didn't change Rangda's mask, they just changed the tier one fighter's mask. Um, this is still not going to be good enough to build it. Um, but at least maybe you can build it for a fun item now. But like, they've actually nerfed the damage on it when the damage on fighter's mask is already worse. Then, like, let's say Bluestone or something like that. Like, this is this is actually kind of a nerf. Because if you're, like, playing something like Wukong and you go Fighter's Mask, you don't care about taking the damage. Um, then you've actually just lost a 1% damage dealt buff for some reason. So, um, the item has actually gotten worse in most regards on most characters that you would actually build it for the damage. Um, so, the item has gotten even worse. And... Um, they need to like buff the base power or something on it to make it relevant. They need to change some actual like stats on it, not the passive. Um, so yeah, this item got worse. Don't build it. Um, barrier. This doesn't matter. The item is horrible. The item's bad. It's not fun. It's still not good. Don't buy vision shard. It's not good. Buy horn shard if you're a supporter or something. Wing shard. 
Five percent movement speed is a pretty pretty big buff, so that's nice. If you're like a jungler, that doesn't do it. It's OP. What do you mean it's not good? Barrier. Really arc. Really. Oh, vision shard. Oh, it's got a it's got forty five units now. Broken. That shit's busted, dude. Ninety seconds. The only the only role you can buy this on is support. I'm not buying that shit over golden shard. ADC's not buying it. Solo's not buying it. Jungle's not buying it. Well, maybe jungle. Nah, probably not. Oh, maybe. Vision shard and merchant. Uh, this is a pretty big slow buff. And that's a pretty big buff. She's gonna be fucking cap, capping out on the slow. And that's a really big buff to her dash. Her dash is on a long ass cooldown because it's an invis. Bow, master of the Dow. Looks like just some solid damage buffs. Yeah, so Ewing will be hitting harder for sure. For sure. Maybe he'll come back in the meta. Ewing's annoying, so I'm actually not looking forward to that. But he has been bad for a while, so it's fine. Um, Mawert buff. Not really that, that impactful. Attack speed doesn't really matter for him. This is not too relevant. I guess just the mana is probably the most relevant thing there. Not really that big of a change. I mean, early game, like, 0.4 seconds longer stun. And stack the passive faster. Increased movement speed. He's faster now. That's a big buff. That's a big passive buff. For sure. And they've increased the base damage on this ability that already does a fuck ton of damage. That's a very big buff. Quick turn. That's nice. That's that's a nice quality life change. You're gonna be fucking spinning around on that horse. Yeah, Lancelot's already very good right now. Um giving him making him faster and buffing his, his damage is kinda crazy. He's already got some of the most damage in any assassin kit right now. It's the same movement speed? Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. They're just reducing the stack count. Never mind. Well, yeah, just some nice quality life changes, I guess, and then free damage buff. King Arthur may now proc basic attack items with his basic attacks. I mean, like, what what can you even really abuse with that? Like, yeah, I guess you can go Arc Druids now. You should not go Death Toll on him. You can proc Axe now, but you shouldn't go Axe on him either. Hydras and Bumbas? I mean, if you're going King Arthur jungle, I guess, but like... It's... It's probably... Oh, Golden Shard, you're right. Yeah, I mean, you can go Golden Shard on him now. But you don't really need Golden Shard on King Arthur. Frostbound is the main thing. If you're going Frostbound on King Arthur, I'm reporting you, bro. Equinox Arthur? Holy shit, true. Um, yeah, I mean, this is like, you're basically, and you don't even really want to build Arc Druids in Arthur, but I guess you can now. Um, this doesn't change, this doesn't really change anything for Arthur, to be honest, even though it's like, it's a cool change that they could have done a long time ago. I mean, doesn't really do anything for him, sadly. Um, rabbit speed, cool. Okay. We must be all dancing. Okay, that's actually a pretty big change. <laughs> She's gonna be fucking zooming then. Heimdall. 55 units. Interesting. Uh, and now the landing will be no matter what. I mean, okay. Oh, okay, they just, they just want to let you use it as a warding tool. Okay, I mean, that's that's a chill change, I guess. Sure. Sure. Stacks increased to 999. Gained one stack when hitting an enemy non-god. Oh, so now you, now you don't have to kill things, you just need to hit things. Two stacks when killing an enemy god. 
3 stacks when hitting an enemy guard, and 5 stacks when killing. Oh. Decreased damage per stack, decrease from 5. Okay. So now you can actually PvP on Surter. You don't have to fucking PvE. I mean, that's that's a huge change. Because before, you would, if you're, when you're maxing your 1, you have to... You have to just hit the wave and not like use your main damage on the other guy to trade with them because you need to clear uh, or you need to stack your one. So now you can actually just fucking bonk the other guy to stack him. It's a nerf overall. Uh, well, I mean, we need like a fucking mathematician in here to figure out uh, the damage per stack decreased from five to one. And you're getting a lot more stacks. So like, let's say you get like three ones off on somebody. You're already at nine stacks when it would have taken you. 20 stacks would take you around like 10 minutes, I think, before. Um, and now you could hit like, you could hit four ones on somebody, which is pretty realistic in like a couple minutes. Um, and you'd already be at 12 stacks. So I don't think that it's going to be a damage nerf. I think it's just going to be consistent. And it's going to allow you to PvP instead of PvEing now, which is a massive W in itself. And the damage, I'd assume, is probably equivalent, if not better, I would assume. Yeah, and you can stack in teamfights now. Either way, this makes the character more fun. You don't have to, you don't have to sit there in PvE to, to farm, like, your, your, basically your entire, like, point of the character is stacking the one. That's the entire point of the character. And now you don't have to PvE, you can actually PvP while you're doing it. So, I mean, that's, this is a great change. I mean, we'll see what the damage is, but uh, I think it's that's a great change. He's got he actually is going to be fun now. Going to be a lot more fun now. Nuke can cancel this ability. Don't care. Keep its hearts not spawn closer together. Cool. Cool. Um, no longer wears off while he's continuing to take damage. Good change, but Kabraken's ass right now, so. Not really the biggest deal. He's still going to be bad. Um, oh, it's unlocked on the 2 as well. Very nice. Yeah, and this is a big, big quality life change. So when you're ulting now, you can basically, while you're, while you're charging up the animation, you can just throw the fucking boulder anywhere in that time that you're throwing. That's going to be juicy. You still need to hit the 1. It doesn't say. What if it's just hitting? Wait. Yeah, you just need to you just need to bonk him with it. You don't need to kill him anymore. But you get bonus for for killing as well. Oh wait, so you get you get one stack for for hitting a minion, and you get two stacks for killing it. Yeah, you're gonna stack really fast, bro. And you can throw a three sixty that boulder now. Achilles basically just got the Susano change. Yeah, you get three for killing a minion now. Achilles just got the Susano change where if you're on Insta, the target will not appear, so you don't have to do like the bullshit like auto attack canceling thing. So that'll be a nice quality life change, W. And they've done a bunch of timing on post fire, pre fire abilities on a hundred fucking billion different characters. Battle Stomp Uppercut. Yeah, that's definitely delayed for sure. Pele is probably going to be a big one. New Wild Basic Attacks. Rend? Yeah, Rend is a little bit scuffed for sure. Universe Ring Toss. That one's also scuffed. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see with some of these changes. Erlang! In? Maybe like the very start of the ability. Oh, nine turns blessing. Ooh. Do you think they fixed Erlang ult? Oh. Ooh, I wonder if they fixed it, bro. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too too excited. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too excited. It's probably not going to be that big of a change, but... What if it actually 
when you see the ability come out, it actually taunts them. What if? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Across the sky. Hmm. Range attack. Yeah, I mean, it's a little scuffed. Stinger. Shield of Achilles, really. Shield of Achilles? Interesting. Maybe it's like the very start of the ability because the stun is fine. Guess we'll see. Uler? Is Uler in here? Am I not seeing it? He's not. Oh, Crushing Wave is very scuffed. Shockwave is scuffed. I wonder if Thor's in here. Thorwall, maybe? No. Magic Cudgel. Really? I mean, a little bit, I guess. Storm Kata, Wind Siphon? Really? This list is uh, this list is them changing. Um, it, they're changing. Pro, they're changing pre-fire and post-fire animations and timings. So let's look at like uh, for Pele. Pele, for example, right? When she goes up in the air for her two, her knockup ability, she lands, and then like slightly after the knockup happens, and now they're they're gonna sync it to where the second you land, the knockup's gonna happen. Right, so they're just matching up the abilities. They're lining up the abilities uh, to just feel more, um, what's the word, like, just better, basically, you know, like, just feels cleaner, you know. It's just more in sync, more fluid. Yeah, fluid's a good word for it. Um, so you just have to, Death Scythe! Death Scythe? Dude, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very surprised by some of these, because some of these, I don't even feel like they feel bad. That's like the slightly delayed at the start for sure. We'll see. Storm Kata though. No, actually, no, Susana's one is slightly delayed. Now that I think about it. Yeah, it might not be noticeable for sure. I mean, these are very like very small, minute changes. Achilles stun has come out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a more noticeable when I play it, you know. Strike shots definitely a little bit scuffed. Overhead smash is definitely scuffed. Excavate that one's definitely scuffed. Ymir three, where's that? Vulcan Earthshaker Magmavon basic attacks. He's cooked, bro. His basic attacks are kind of scuffed. Oh, frost breath. Prana Onslaught, yeah, it's slightly delayed. Astral Barrage? I, I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned that they might ruin the feel of some of these abilities. You know, like Susana one, like you're so used to it. I mean, I'm so used to it. I'm so used to that like slight delay. But I'm sure it's just gonna feel better. So we'll see. Is PTS up yet? Let's see. Oh, I don't even have PTS installed, bro. Shit, let me install that. up all right how many of you guys want to play some pts any ptsers yeah this is this i want to go through this list i want to i want to play these characters in jungle practice or like in some games and and get a feel for some of these because i'm i'm gonna be interested by some of these i mean i don't really care about like you know like all run or whatever like especially ooh, jormungandr they might have cleaned up jormungandr jormungandr's abilities feel horrendous I want to see the Erlang, bro. I want to see that Erlang ult. Erlang ult feels good? Holy. Content goading. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. But yeah, you know, solid solid patch. The, the highlights here are definitely... Definitely the Surter change, I would say, is the big highlight of this patch. Um, and then Equinox. The buffs, the buffs on uh, on Frostbound and Gem of Iso, these are gonna ruin my rank games. I'm sure for the for the next couple weeks here. Equinox and Stormseeker, nice new dope meat items. These are fun, interesting, good items. 
I'm not sure if Stormseeker is going to be good. Equinox is definitely going to be good. This is a very strong item. Um, oh yeah, Highlight is nerfing nerfing Guardians with Conduit. Conduit is ridiculously broken. Surter, two new items. Uh, Gem of Iso. Bobble is going to be a luxury item. Solid patch, for sure. I'm just, honestly, I'm confused why they're popping off so hard at all these quality life changes and like overhauls and like overpasses all the characters now that they're going to smite too i don't know like why don't they do this a while ago i mean i'm I'm happy to see the passion now and i'm happy to see the changes now i'm just wondering where was it you know but um i'm glad that it's here you know maybe they're bored i think um maybe they're lacking coding or use uh, resources to actually like do bigger changes maybe and they're just kind of like doing these small changes because uh, that's what they can do with the resources currently i'm assuming something like that equinox will take place over serrated no it's not the same thing it's equinox is it doesn't have it doesn't have pen like it's not going to take over your pen slot People have complained about things feeling diffy. I mean... People are always going to complain. Like, people complain about the Agni change when they when they tease that. They're like, oh my god, Agni's going to be so broken now, whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the patch. Interesting patch, for sure. And also, big mommy... Never mind, you're back. Boys, now it's gamer time.